Hello friends, this video on P-Block Elements Part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about silicon dioxide. Silicon dioxide is nothing but SiO2. But the question is if it is SiO2, why it is solid, right? If it is just SiO2, if it is just SiN2 molecules here, why it is solid, right? Why it is in this, uh, sand is all silicon dioxide, you know, right? So we have so much sand around us. And why it is so hard? There has to be something in the structure. So we'll discuss about the structure of silicon dioxide. But the, the reason why I brought this point is the moment you think of SiO2, you should think it should be gas solid, right? Then let, let, let's think of some time. And then since we know that silicon dioxide is solid, there has to be something in structure. So let's see that. So if you see the 95% of the earth crust is made of silica and silicate, correct? And silicon dioxide is known as silica and it, it occurs in various crystallographic form. Cra, quas, tridimide, they are some of the crystalline forms of silica, right? And they are incompatible. This is the best class. You see, right? Uh, diamond and graphite are inco incompatible. Similarly, here also they are convertible. Invert they are interconvertible. The temperature, you can convert from one form to another. And if you see the structure, that's why it is solid because it is a covalent again, it is covalent again, but it is a solid, similar thing which we have in diamond and carbon, the three-dimensional network structure. It's three-dimensional, not two, it's three actually. So it, yeah, what you are showing is a two-dimensional, but actually it is a three-dimensional solid structure. With each silicon is bonded to the tetrahedral man with four other oxygen. For example, if you see, this guy is bonded to four oxygen atoms, right? And in its normal form, it's almost unreactive. Why? Because this bond is very high. Same thing as I told, right? Carbon monoxide has to be basic, but is neutral. Why? Because the carbon oxygen bond is strong. Here also, it's almost strong bundle, right? You see all this silicon, it's all tied up. And the, the bond energy is very high. So it's almost unreactive. That's why if you see the sand is very, very unreactive. But it, it resists actually the attack by hydrogen and halogen. But even at higher temperature, this HF and NOH, it reacts. It reacts only with these two actually. Other halogens, other dihydro, uh, what do you call it? Acid base, it doesn't react, but HF and NOH, it reacts. And at high temperature, right? Sand, if you react with sodium hydroxide, it reacts. Na2SiO3 and sand, you react with HF, it gets SiF4. As I told, SiO2, right? It's a case like structure. This is three dimensional view of the SiO2. This is one silicon molecule combined with two and this is another silicon molecule combined with two. So that's why it forms this kind of three-dimensional structure, correct? So let's talk about the usage of uh, silicon dioxide. This cost, if you see, is extensively used as piezoelectric material. What is piezoelectric material? Materials which when you apply pressure or stress on, or physical action if you do on the uh, material, it produces electricity. That's called piezo means pressure, electric means electricity. So when you apply pressure on a material, it produces electricity and this is used to develop extremely accurate clock. You'll learn more about this in physics when you see that piezoelectric uh, uh, materials are used to make clocks, radios, television broadcasting, in the, in fact, the mobile radio communication also, these are extensively used. These are my looks of cost. Silica gel is used as a dehydrating agent. You must have seen silica gel in your life in, in, when you buy a water bottle or something, uh, it will have silica gel just to make sure that it doesn't uh, get or absorb water from the atmosphere and uh, smells. So the silica gel is used as dehydrating agent. It uh, absorbs all the water, right? And this guy is a amorphous form of silica. It is used in filtration plants also. And the most critical use of silica is to make electronic chip. As I told, this electronic chip is used in TV, mobile, fridge, anything you talk about, we have all the electronics item we have is electronic chips. The, co the next question is the good question. How come the Silicon Valley in the uh, US got its thing? So you must have heard this term Silicon Valley, all the good companies, Microsoft, Google, Yahoo, Intel, and Silicon Valley. How come this got this name? Because in that particular uh, area, in, in California actually, all these, uh, what do you call, IT companies are there, IT and hardware companies are there. And all these hardware and IT companies, they need one thing to run. That is microprocessor. And that is based of silicon. It is made of silicon. 
So that's how this city got its name because the Silicon City has most of the IT and hardware company, the software and the hardware company. And software and hardware company needs hard the processor to run, right? And the processor is made from silicon, and that's why this name Silicon Valley has come. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.